Hey there, welcome to the garden. Today I am going to be tackling a little project to get ready for planting in my containers this fall winter. So if you are like me and you have issues with squirrels, then hopefully this will be a little bit of a help. I have just such a squirrel problem in this garden. They run up and down the fence line. They get into all of the garden beds, all of the containers. Mostly I find that they like the open spaces. So whenever I have um, really small seedlings or I'm planting in seeds and I've opened up space in the raised beds um, or the containers, you know, I've just put down seeds. I, they get in there and they just start digging. I also have a ton of mulch in the in-ground portions of my garden. So that's very fun to dig in and bury acorns, I'm sure if you are a squirrel. So it just, it's such a, such a problem. And last year was so frustrating. I mean, just every time I felt like my seedlings got to a good spot and they were like, you know, a couple inches tall and looking really good, the squirrels would come in and they would just tear it up. And um, it just got, yeah, frustrating basically. So this year, after using different kinds of repellents and different kinds of protection, I am just going with chicken wire <laughs> And I'm going to show you how I'm going to put that in my containers. All right, so why chicken wire? I want something that the squirrels can't chew through and that is also not plastic. I'm trying to be a bit more um, sustainable in my garden and not use quite as much plastic. I have used bird netting in the past as um, kind of like a way to make a physical barrier and it worked pretty well um, but you can really see it like I had it over top of the plants you can really even though it's black um, it's pretty minimal but you can still see it it's still there and then it gets tangled up in things and then it gets tangled removing you know removing it out of the garden I ended up with pieces of it everywhere and just kind of became a mess so the chicken wire I think is a little bit easier to manage. And I did get some of these chicken wire cloches that I'm going to be putting in my raised beds. There's a few different shapes that they come in. Um, and that this has worked pretty well. I mean, a physical barrier is really what I have found is best. Whenever I tried to use like a repellent or something like that, I maybe it's user error that I don't get out enough and put it down as often as I should, but I just couldn't stay on top of that process and it didn't work. So the physical barriers actually keep the squirrels out of the garden and so I like this chicken wire one I've used some of these in the spring and they worked pretty well chipmunks can still get through it but the squirrels which is like the biggest um, problem in my garden although I do have a couple chipmunks the squirrels stayed out of it so that that was good I also have row covers that I can put over the garden beds and the past couple years I have done that and the row covers I really like and they're good for winter growing. But this year I just wanna see what's growing in the garden beds and the row covers don't work for containers. So for the containers, I'm just gonna be doing a chicken wire over the top. Now there's two ways you could probably do this. So one is just to put it like this and fold the chicken wire over, which I think works, you know, that will definitely work, but you can also cut it to the form. So let me show you over here. So I am gonna use gloves because you just wanna protect yourself from um, the chicken wire. It's a little bit pokey. And I'm just gonna measure out just enough, make a little mark here in the side so I know where I need to cut. And then I'm gonna take some wire cutters. This is my first time really working with chicken wire like this. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. It's not that hard to cut the chicken wire. I was a little worried that it was gonna be a really cumbersome process to, to cut it like this, but the wire cutters get through it pretty quickly. So that's not too much of an issue. hear all of the cicadas in the background. We are still in the last couple days of our heat wave. So I'm getting this done now so that once the heat passes, I will be ready for fall planting. All right, then you need your pot. I'm gonna put it over and I'm gonna fold it. And as you saw, 
you could just leave it like this. So my plan is I will fill these once we get to our cooler temperatures. I will fill these pots up with potting soil and then I will actually do all of my seeding of probably lettuces, kales, winter kind of greens, collard greens. I'm just going to seed them directly over the chicken wire so that they, when they grow up, they grow up through the chicken wire and that is my plan. So what I'm actually going to do now though is I'm going to cut around and I just want to make like a circle of chicken wire. So as I said, you could definitely just leave it folded over the side. I'm hoping to keep it so that the squirrels can't like get underneath it and get into it or, or knock it off. I don't know that they would, but my squirrels are pretty <laughs> industrious and they, especially in the middle of winter, they get really hungry and I kind of go after things. Although once the plants grow up through the chicken wire, that will really hold the chicken wire in place and there won't be anything a squirrel can do to like move the chicken wire out of the container. So here we go. Beautiful. And we've got a little chicken wire circle. So I actually have this container that's got some old potting soil and mulch in it, but I thought I could just use it to show you. We'll just put it down on top of the potting soil and you know, okay. So I may have to like tack it down a little bit. I could get some little landscape staples and I might end up doing that, but then I'll just plant over top of it. The plants will grow up and we'll just keep it down like this. And when the squirrels come in to try to dig, they're going to hit this. They're not going to want to dig through it. And that will protect, hopefully protect my plants. That's the goal. I'm really excited about seeing how this works. What I have found is that the squirrels don't like the feeling, you know, one, they can't dig through the, the chicken wire, but they also don't like like the, the feeling. I think that's why bird netting can sometimes work. Although they will get in and under um, bird netting and they'll find their way around it. So I definitely think I'm gonna get some landscape staples so that this is just tacked down. And as I said before, once the plants grow up through it, that won't be an issue at all because they'll just be really secured. Now I thought about leaving it like the one that I have here that's folded over the sides, but um, there's a couple reasons why I don't think I'm gonna leave them like this. You certainly could just do it like this and it might be a little bit easier to reuse your chicken wire if it's you know over the top here but I think that this will be super easy for storage when we're not in season I can just you know store all these and then pull them out and put them on their containers and that'll be nice and easy and it also is like really subtle I mean you barely can see it which was one of the problems I had with like using bird netting and, and something like that was I just saw it so much. And I want to really enjoy my garden this winter. That's why I'm gonna try not to use as many row covers and use the chicken wire cloches. Um, I wanna be able to really see the garden. And I'm lucky enough to live here um, in zone 7A. I'm in Virginia. It is warm throughout the winter. I can grow a lot of greens. I can grow a lot of violas and collard greens and things like that all through the winter. So it's nice to actually be able to see it and not just have it under row covers. And I don't really need the row covers for heat. Um, maybe I'll put them on, like if I have a frost or if I have some tender things, I can use those row covers still. But since I don't really need them for the actual warmth, like this way I'll be actually be able to see all the plants that are growing in my garden beds. That's at least the goal um, for me for this year. So I just wanted to share that with you in case you're dealing with um, squirrel problems. This is an option. It was easier than I thought it was. I've debated using, chi using chicken wire for a couple years now. I kind of was like, I don't know, it seems like a big fuss, but cutting it with the wire cutters isn't too bad. I don't think storing it is going to be too bad either. Once, you know, just like flatten these all out and put them maybe in a cardboard box or something. That should be easy. I do have some leftover bits of chicken and wire. So with these leftover bits, I think I'm going to try to work out how I can use them actually in the raised beds. I'm starting to prepare some areas in the raised beds for fall planting. And I might use them like around my seedlings again, just to kind of keep the squirrels away. They tend to follow a little bit of the path of least resistance. So if there's like plants growing, they won't bother bigger plants. If there's some like poles, I've even used like bamboo stakes in different spots and they'll kind of like not 
dig as close to the stakes usually, and unless they're really desperate in the middle of winter. And so I think if I can put some chicken wire, I don't know, around some of my seedlings, maybe I can use these scraps as other little deterrents because I only have so many of the cloches um, and so I'm gonna have more space. So playing around with that, but I'm excited at how well these little chicken wire circles uh, seem to like look right now and hopefully they work really well. Of course, stay tuned, I'll keep you posted, but uh, oh, last year was just so disappointing. So many losses to the squirrels. They even got in my unheated greenhouse, which I'm about to put the frame on that. They got inside the frame. They got inside all of my grow bags in the frame. They even jumped into the container of violas that I had growing in my container pond. Like they just went after everything. They're really, really destructive. Uh, so I feel like maybe finally <laughs> I found a way to thwart them. So I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use the chicken wire in my grow bags as well. My grow bags are pretty big. I have some 15 gallon grow bags. I kind of think you can't even really see them because there's so many plants in there. So I may have to use like a couple um, strips, but this is a pretty big roll <laughs> and you can get these anywhere. You know, we can get this on Amazon, Walmart, you can get wherever, you know, anywhere garden center. You have a tractor supply or something like that. They probably have chicken wire and it's pretty affordable. Uh, so as far as the solution, it's definitely a lot cheaper than using the repellents. Not that the repellents aren't great if you have a big space and you have the, uh, maybe the consistency to put it down, but even garlic, red pepper flakes, I've literally done all of those. And for me, for the container garden, it did not work. My squirrels are way too mischievous for that. And they do not care about, uh, garlic or anything. So we will see. Hopefully this will keep the chipmunks out as well. I've got like one chipmunk that comes in my garden every now and then. I know it can get through the chicken wire and the cloach, although this chicken wire that I have in the containers is a little bit smaller. Uh, but I wanted it to be big enough that the plants could still grow through. Obviously if I had like really big uh, plants, you know, if I want to get like a, I don't know, what would be a bigger stem, like a big broccoli or something, maybe I would just want to do some chicken wire around it or cut a little hole. You could definitely cut a hole in here and then plant something into it. That would be an option and I may end up doing that. For the lettuce, I think it'll all just grow up through this and as I said, hold it down, but it'll all just grow up through this and it shouldn't be a problem at all and just kind of protect the roots and then the squirrels when they come to try to to get here they won't be able to dig although they would like go under it and do that so yeah landscape staples are going to be a must uh but look at that i mean that looks pretty good that's gonna work i think i'm really excited well, hopefully <laughs> this helps if you have a way that you keep squirrels out of your garden or you um have experience with chicken wire leave your comments because I'm sure all of us who are here on this video are dealing with squirrels and we would love to know what has worked for other people. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.